Hi everyone, it's Victor from Coricious Trust. Welcome back to Let's Talk About Sex and Gender, the series where we'll present you, discuss with you and answer your questions on sexuality and gender identity issues such as SSA, gender confusion, conversion therapy bans, therapies, loss and equality and more related. We believe that everyone is free to choose their life direction and no one should restrain them from doing so. Same goes with professional counselors, therapists and pastors whose research and knowledge are based on what God and science have to say about SSA and gender. We encourage you to press the like button as it helps the algorithms to spread this video to a wider public and leave a comment that would possibly initiate a fruitful conversation. Simon and Fiona continue with the Book of Ruth in the second episode of The Pilgrim's Way. This time they teach on our commitment as we follow God and the honesty and transparent heart with which we come into the presence of the Lord. Because when we commit ourselves to the Lord, our plans, our ways and everything that we are, as Fiona was saying, that's the moment when God really starts to move in our lives. Because it's actually the moment when we give him permission to do it. Maltese former bisexual John Mark Attard shares his testimony on X Out Loud of how a living encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ set him free of dead religion and the real struggle with same-sex desires. He told the story of repeated episodes of sexual abuse by his neighbor and family relative and how these traumatic events shaped not only his introvert character back then but also his sexual inclinations. John Mark is adamant that from his personal experience same-sex desires were not inborn but rather an unfortunate result of traumatic experiences that he went through during his childhood as early as the age of six. After GPH reported on several organizations that provide help and support for men and women who choose to move away from a homosexual or transgender identity, two of our pages have been removed from Facebook, a Vex Out Loud and IFTCC. It's more than obvious there is a specific agenda that the major leaders in the world are following and pushing on others as well. But truth can never be silenced. Where they're trying to cover it with lies and manipulation, the light will burst in more powerfully. At the moment, we're searching for an alternative to Facebook and shortly we'll let you know where we've migrated. And just to make sure, because some of our followers have messaged us on other platforms thinking that we've blocked them. No, we haven't blocked anyone. If you can't find us on Facebook, it's frankly because they removed us. The consultation on banning conversion therapy ends today, the 4th of February at 11.45 p.m. GMT. If you still haven't managed to respond, find helpful links in the description box along with a helpful guide should you need it to write your response, since some have found the questions misleading. The members of the executive board of IFTCC and other specialists in the field came up with an international declaration of 10 points that exposes the flaws and false claims that a conversion therapy ban is grounded on. The declaration the declaration will soon be available on the IFTCC website and may be signed by any individual and organization that supports its statements. This declaration exposes the false narrative of harm. There is an article on the Evangelicals Now written by an anonymous author who speaks about themselves as a same-sex attracted Christian committed to celibacy. I think it's very important to have a good understanding on the terms chastity, celibacy and abstinence in the context of a biblical perspective. What is your opinion about that? I invite you to write it in the comments uh, and if you want to read the full article it's in the description box. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and don't forget to follow us on social media to stay updated with our news. If that's on your heart you can donate to our ministry on the first link in the description box. That's how you'll contribute to advancing our book to a bigger public, to reach out to more people who need help and support and to hold up the banner of righteousness of God. Peace out there.